Hello, Libra. Justice. I had to wait to do your reading. Like, I had to legit wait, like, 20 hours to do this reading. Because I'm like, I have to wait for justice to come. And then, like, until justice comes, I can't do the reading. Because um, I channel through the sign, right? Not necessarily for the sign of. It's more like, you know, the hermit, the moon, you know. It kind of seems like it comes out that way. Sometimes it doesn't. It's energy. It flows the way it wants. So, Libra, I'm going to do this for you. Unfortunately, I can't really get the table on the screen, but I'm always a work in progress. Never know what's going to happen each day. I like being a work in progress, you know? <clears throat> and nobody's perfect. Ooh -wee. And the people who think they are, <laughs> the kind of lives they must lead. All right, let's quit farting around here, Libra. Let's go. Justice. There's one card. There's two cards. This is the theme. All right. <clears throat> Do we want to give any more details with these cards? Okay, that one. All right. That one. The upside down. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so we got Peace Pipe. We got your double. 911 Emergency in the middle. And we got Haul It and Forget It with Mimosa Juice. The Happy Juice. I love mimosas. I don't know who, like, you can have like two of them and be off your ass. <clears throat> And be off your ass. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Someone's going to be on their ass about something. 911 emergency. Copycat. You've been passing the duchy with your double. There's a copycat. Seems like you're cool with them, though. They don't seem like a threat. So move on and forget it. Hmm. This is interesting. It's made me notice how much I had to clean these cards. Man, white gets so dirty. That's why I don't wear it. Knowing me, I'd wear white pants and then sit on shit. And have to walk around like that for the rest of the day. Like, that's the way my luck goes. Like, it's like no getting away with that. Okay. Okay. What's this peace pipe coffee cat? Please and thank you. All right, all right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So clearly, I'm picking up somebody from the past um, that you had some type of ending with. Okay, the Seven of Swords, 
you had a bad ending with them. And I think this was because something was said or something was done. And this person came in and I think stole some shit from you. Because you ended it. Right? It's like... Uh, it's like a really bad divorce with somebody. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be like a friendship, right? You've got, you know, this friend and you tried to end it with them. And it was a bad ending. Like there was a lot said, like you, you passed some truth around with this person. You know, you, you sat in a circle with this person and then they decided to start copying you. And like I said, you were okay with it. You were like, okay, well, you know what? Sometimes I'm the, the bright light in the group. And, and if you want to change and become more like me, then it's kind of flattering. <clears throat> but then they stole. So then they got so wrapped up in your role that they stole from you and said they were you. Which is why it's thief in reverse, because you weren't the thief. You didn't do anything wrong. They did. And now this thief, everything that gets stolen has to be replaced, right? It's the way karma works. You steal something, you've got to replace it. So, um, 911 emergency in reverse. It's like I feel like there's no threat to you now. Like, 911 emergency in reverse. Hmm. But the chariot with the emperor. But the chariot in reverse. Chariot in reverse. No. Oh, there's another card that flipped. I thought there was. Ooh. King of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Okay. So. Okay. Hierophant steps in. All right. That's why Justice is here. So Justice is showing up as the high priest. Making the the call right like justice is making the call on this now so this king of pentacles is in reverse with the chariot this person that did this right that you had this hard ending with this king of pentacles in reverse is now going in reverse for 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 stealing what they did which is kind of what should happen right and then this emperor i believe gets an opportunity here with this two of pentacles it's like, it's like finally something comes in for this person that's been waiting. I feel like because the emperor is sitting down, I kind of feel like maybe they were waiting for this. They were waiting for this, for this copycat to not be able to go anywhere, get stopped, right? Like people can only impersonate you for so long. This is like, this is like identity thief, right? This is identity theft. I really wasn't expecting that to come out. Identity theft? What the fuck? Oh my gosh. And yes, that's why this happened. So I've been getting this like strong feeling towards this person. And it's, it's weird because I think me and this person have crossed paths numerous times because he dated somebody that was, that lived really close to me. And when I went to go look him up on social media, there was like seven accounts that all say that they're this person, that they're him. And I'm like, I don't know if that, I don't think that that's flattery because then I looked up somebody else, my childhood love, Burt McCracken. And um, Burt doesn't have social media, but this Burt's wife, it's like Burt McCracken's wife 
and I clicked on it and it was like this transvestite that had this picture from the 90s of when he kissed or she, sorry, uh, kissed Bert and she's claiming that she's his wife. And I'm like, wow, like social media is scary. Like I'm not on social media. I, I can't even look at posts really. Like I try to look up something, but like I can't read the description people and and like if I look at too many pictures on on one somebody's Instagram like then I get locked out right because I don't have Instagram I can't see things I can't read things right so I don't know what social media really has done over the last few years like I kind of go in and on like I'm like a teeter-totter I get on and then I delete everything and I'm off and then I go on and then I delete everything and I'm off like I don't really like it it makes me really uncomfortable so I'm looking up all these doubles and I'm like even him there's like four accounts that all say is he, that they're Burt McCracken's wife I'm like and like, I'm pretty sure his wife doesn't even have social media, which is so funny because it's like people impersonating people that don't even have social media. So how can you say you're this person when they're not even up? How do you, how do you even know they're alive? Right? Weird. Weird. Okay. Haul and forget it. Give me this haul and forget it. Mimosa time. Mimosa juice. Ooh, the tower, tower moment, page of pentacles. I think the thing is, is that I really believe that you're probably, um, this page of pentacles thinking a lot. Yeah. About financials. Like clearly this person has done something financially to you, which is why they're the king of pentacles in reverse. This could be, and you know, like I told this story about how my sister's ex-husband stole everything from her. He, he took five businesses, two houses and all of their money plus killed their dog. And my sister walked away with 40 grand in debt. Like he walked away with everything. He thinks he's a fucking king of Peterborough. I'm the fucking king. He's a fucking drug dealer. Get over it. He's going to get busted one day. I know he is. He's a fucking loser. Nobody fucking kicks their wife out on their ass. She had everything. He had nothing. Then once he got everything, he drained her and made her nothing. I told this story and some lady wrote back saying that she's also been a victim of a man's abuse that has taken something from her and left her homeless. Like my sister and I were homeless because of this guy. He kicked us out of the house and we were living in my car. We had nowhere to go. Our family wouldn't even take us in. And, uh, you know, I feel like, I feel like this is because of that. Like it's, it's like a crush. It's like somebody took money from you when they took your identity, right? This per, Ooh, this, Ooh, this is bringing me now to, I worked with this chick who has an identical twin who her identical twin pulled identity theft on her and opened up these accounts and drained all this credit and the other twin had to pay for it because it was under her name and she couldn't prove it was her sister that did it and like her own fucking twin did it yuck i was almost gonna woof 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 that's disgusting i think dogs act better than that yeah like this is definitely for somebody who's been working hard at their craft Okay, somebody who's been, you know, if you've had a lot of jobs recently or if you've been going to and from jobs, you keep trying to, I mean, just hustling, hustling, hustling. Every day I'm hustling, like just trying to get that money in here. Everything is a try because you had to keep hauling it and forgetting about it, hauling it and forget about it, knowing that somebody else had your identity. But what can you do about it? If you can't prove it, if there's no evidence, what can you do? But it's like the evidence has come out. Because maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this copycat shared a little too much with somebody. Give me this peace pipe. Maybe they, ooh, yeah, they shared, they shared a little bit of information with a friend. Yes, yes, that they they you know somebody that they hold very dear and near in their heart this is a man fucking over a woman so if you're a woman you got fucked over this is probably for you okay there's the knight of wands with karma let me tell you this karma is going to come in hot and heavy for this king of cups because he shared too much information he passed that duchy around with somebody that he thought he could trust because in his heart, he wouldn't betray this person. But because this, this king took something, and like I mean, like, like, like I was saying about my sister's ex-husband, he comes from a very small town. 
right? Peterborough was a very small town, and he grew up with these people, right? Like these these people, like he's in his forties, and like they, he's known a lot of these people since he was like twenty, right? So there's been twenty years of relationships that he's built with these people, and they all thought my sister had all this money. Like he made it seem like he bought my sister all this shit. Really, what he did was he made her an at home wife and put her back into school. He, he made her completely dependent on him, right? He was a drug addict. He, their first date that they went on, the next day, Dan checked himself into rehab. Like, he was, like, fucked up on perks the night that the first night that they ever really got together, right? And then my sister rode out an entire relationship of a drug addict trying to get off of fucking opiates and fucking booze. And she helped him through everything, and he just sucked everything off of her. And he never gave an ounce back, but all of his friends looked at his life like he had treated his wife so well. And yet left her in debt and took everything. Started a brand new family. Turned his mother against my sister. I mean, what this motherfucker did was so vindictive that it was moves. I'm not, and, and I mean, I'm female, you know. I'm not going to trash it, but it's bitch moves. It's moves a fucking bitch would make, which is how I know he's in feminine energy. He's a bitch. He doesn't, just because he's got a fucking dick in between his legs doesn't mean he knows how to use it. Doesn't mean there's an ounce of testosterone inside of him. I think he sucked the testosterone all out of my sister trying to get himself hard every night because really, I think he's gay. And closet gays ruin other people's lives. And I'm, I'm okay, I'm just saying this. Don't bash my channel. But if you are in the closet about something, you will ruin other people's lives. You have a tendency to, right? Because, I mean, I ruin other people's lives by having a pedophile in the closet, right? Like, listen to what I'm saying. Don't get angry. Not saying that you are. But it's like when we hide things in the closet, we take those things out on other people because we get relationships that are built off lies. We tell each other lies, right? Everything becomes built off lies because we don't have the confidence to come out and say who we truly are. Right. And especially back in the day, I mean, I mean, honestly, you can try to fucking say that 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 people were too scared to come out or whatever it was. But really, they just didn't have the balls to do it. They didn't love it enough to truly wear it on their shoulders, because if they did, they wouldn't have cared. Right. And that's the thing is if this king would have made his money on his own, he wouldn't have stole from somebody else an entire identity. Right. If you are completely okay with yourself, and he thinks like the, like he thinks that this isn't an emergency. Of, well, of course it is. Are you kidding? Might not be an emergency um, with other people that are involved, but it's gonna be an emergency to the person that you just stole everything from because you claimed you were them, right? You're writing false checks, signing a woman's name, and you're a man. Like, really? And this trapped somebody. I knew there was a card that I hadn't shown yet. This trapped somebody, right? They were trapped in a lot of words. This person was trapped in a lot of fear with this other person. So when they ended it, it was all with words. It's, it's all swords. It's all words that hurt, that somebody just wanted to fucking come out and steal. When really, it wasn't even their words to begin with. It was somebody else's. They stole all your words. They stole your voice and then used it against you. Like, this dude is disgusting. And I'm saying dude as in masculine energy. Because let's say trifling ass ho can do the exact same thing. And I've watched it. That's why I'm like, this is a bitch move. Somebody who was a man took on a female role because they wanted to be born a girl. Like, honestly, I've read worse energy, so. Yeah. I really hope this helps. I mean, there has been a lot of energy that's come up where men want to be women and women want to be men. And it's just, it's, it has nothing to do with the tra transvestite. It's nothing to do with changing themselves it's in other dimensions, right? They, they, they will mask it in 3D a lot, but those masks, they come out. That's the thing. The demons, they come out. Those skeletons in the closet, they come out. If you start ruining people's lives because of shit that you can't let out of yourself to heal yourself, to get yourself moving right? Then that's, that's like victim hurting victim. Like that sucks. Like hurting people because you're hurt and because you can't be true to yourself. Like, and I mean, this isn't you, this is the other person. And if it's the other person who did all this watching guaranteed, they already turned this video off a long time ago and gave me the finger. So I'm not too worried about that. Anyways. Yeah, this is, 
someone's getting told on. Like, I'm definitely telling on somebody and they don't like it. Their walls are up. They've been fighting for this for a long time. But that's the thing is energy can't hang in energy when it's depriving somebody else who's trying to get their way out. Right? Like if people are trying to do good for themselves, you can't hold them back in darkness when they're trying to find the light. You can, but I mean, you can't force somebody to see something they don't want to see. You can't force somebody to see something they're not ready to see. Everybody has to do things when, they're, when their time is up, when they can't live a lie anymore. You know, like clearly this guy is just going to keep living this lie. Right? It's some, like you built a family with him. You built something with him. Right? And that's why you've been working so hard to get this money because they took everything. They, they you know, and now I think the, the true emperor comes back to claim his throne. And that's why the 911 emergency is here in reverse because it's not like someone's going to die and then you'll get your identity back. It's not, it's not so cutthroat, I think. It's more like... Well, you just get all your information back. You just get all your identification back. It's like you get your wallet back. Because the tower comes down. The tower is not going to let this king sit on that throne anymore. Woo! There's the hermit and Leo. Hermit and strength. That's finding inner strength. You've, I think you've really found inner strength to fight this person. To, to, to claim, to, to really... Um, reclaim the throne that you are this person and not them. That took a lot of guts. That took more strength, I think, than what you realize. So it's mimosa time. Damn right it is. Crack those mimosas. This person is done-ski. See ya.